Adam Ginsberg works full-time in an advertising department for a fitness magazine, but he spends his nights and weekends with the undead, or at least, pretending to be the undead. Ginsberg plays the lead role of a mob boss in a play titled The Living Dead Mafia, a comedy about dead mobsters who come back to life as zombies. His wife, Elsie, who was also the director of the play, said she had to convince her husband to take the role. I went up to my husband one night and I said, listen, I really need you to try to play Salvatore Rizzo. And he, of course, he looked at me and said, you've got to be kidding me, because he's never been on a stage. And uh, Adam is actually a very shy, or was, a really shy person. Ginsburg says he doubted he could play the character at first, but eventually he took to the part. The transformation to the dead father is... Um, almost like a complete alter ego of myself. It's just, it's really, it's really funny how this character that I never thought I could play and my wife saw in me before I ever did, um, really became very natural to play. Ginsburg hasn't forgotten about his marketing roots. He says he uses guerrilla advertising to promote the performances. One of the things that we thought of doing very early on was to go with a guerrilla approach. That meant dressing up as these characters and going out and staying in character in the public space. The play runs at the Mill House in St. James, but Ginsburg has bigger aspirations. I could visualize it so clearly, the dead father on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine, sort of holding up the Goodwood bat, and he's surrounded by the Living Dead Mafia familia, which is, you know, a number of the characters all looking up at the camera. And to this day, they joke and, and all that, and it's like this running gag on me, but I think in the back of everybody's mind, they know the type of person I am. And they know that I wouldn't just come up with something out of the blue unless I really felt it. Reporting from St. James, I'm Sean Caffrey-Golia, SBU News.